Welcome back to our YouTube channel. And yes, we are back with another video. And this is the YouTube channel for successful property investors and future successful property investors who are dedicated to building their wealth through real estate investing. We're going to be talking about an interesting topic today. Today's topic is about how do you retire early through property investing? We've spoken about this retirement crisis in the past three videos. And we started with a video about nine to five job versus actually building wealth through real estate investing. And we say, which one is actually better for you to retire comfortably? The next video, which we did last week was about consequences of not planning for retirement. That video, by the way, I must say it's not for everyone because it's a tough video that actually gives you the reality of lack of planning for retirement. Why are we speaking about retirement? Because there's a retirement crisis in South Africa, a huge one. And as you can see from this articles, the retirement crisis is so bad that the World Bank says only 20% of South Africans actually have retirement savings. And most people, according to the 10X Reality Report, says they cannot be able to save for retirement because month end, they don't even have the money to save for retirement because of their competing needs that they need to cover on a day-to-day -day basis. We thought, hey, what is the solution? Because we are property investors and entrepreneurs. Solution here is actually to build a portfolio that will help you retire through property. And that is why we have in this video. So in this video, I'm gonna give you a step-by-step -step guide on exactly what you can do to retire early through property investing. It's gonna be a six step video and I want you to watch it until the end. And I can promise you one thing. If you watch this video from start to finish, you will exactly know what to do next in your property journey for you to achieve your goal. And that's exactly what I want you to get. And one more thing, the reason why I'm doing this video is because most of our clients at InvestFriend who speak to us, they don't have a North goal that they're working towards. There is retirement, financial freedom, independence, whatever it is, is not specific. And the step number three is going to be discussing that in much more detail. And I want you to watch this video up until the end so you can get the best value out of it. So now let's get started. The first thing you want to do in order for you to retire early through property investing is actually assess your current financial situation. Like anything in life, in order for you to achieve or to get where you want to go, you need to know where you are today. Now, what that looks like is you need to check your income, find out about your expenses, what other debts do you have right now? And also you need to check your pension plan if you have a job. And after you you do that, you want to check your current asset. Let's look at your investments, your savings, your real estate portfolio. How does it look like right now? Take a proper audit and inventory of that. The most important thing after you do that is actually get pre-qualified. You know, which is why right now I wanna challenge you to below this video and find a pre-qualification link that can help you get pre-qualified within five minutes. So you can know exactly how much you can get from the bank and you can start using other people's money to build your real estate portfolio. Thus, very, very important. The second thing you want to do, which is the second step in this process, is actually know your financial freedom number. What that is, is just the passive income you need in order for you to live comfortably. Passive income you need to get from your portfolio in order for you to cover your basic needs, your luxuries, and the life that can afford you to be comfortable. This is in real estate 10. However, even if you have some end income through different portfolios, if you have a diversified portfolio, that's just the income you need in order for you to retire comfortably. If you want to learn more about how do you exactly calculate your financial freedom number, there's an article I put below as well. We wrote intensively about this on how exactly do you find, for, define your financial freedom number. This will help you have a specific and a measurable goal, which leads me to my third step, which is create a clear goal for your retirement. Why do you want to do that? You want to know how many properties you need at what age or time frame, or maybe what the passive income it is that you need in order for you to retire comfortably. If you do know that, you look at your financial freedom number, let's say it's 100,000, you need to know, do you need to cover the entire 100,000 using your passive income or do you want to retire 70%, do you want to cover 70% of it through real estate or 50% of it through real estate while you have other maybe retirement income or perhaps different portfolios that you have that are going to be giving you an income at that time of your life when you want to retire. Knowing that helps you have the next steps to take. And I can tell you that if you've gotten this far and you've done this part, you're way ahead of many, many property investors in South Africa and many people because according to the 10X Retirement Related Report, only 8% of the people that they surveyed have a thought through retirement plan that they follow. That's why this is important. The fourth step you want to take is actually creating a budget. You want to sit down and know, hey, how do I deal with money on my day-to-day -day basis? What are my expenses right now? What are my debts right now? Which was part of your financial 
assessment. In this case as well, you want to know what is the amount of money that I need for my buying costs to buy the properties that I'm looking for and where can I get the money from. If you're clear on that, I can tell you that you're way ahead because we have so many clients who come to us at investment who don't know at all that they need the buying costs to cover their transfer fees. If they want a big property, it's going to require bigger transfer fees. There are sometimes they might require uh, money for renovations. It can be so many other things that is cost intensive and they need to be able to cover that, but they are not aware because they did not plan for that. Planning for this is very, very crucial to know if you're going to be using your savings or if you're going to be using your credit or a combination of both in order for you, in order for you to buy your properties. And that's something that's very, very important for you to specify before you even look at property. The fifth thing you want to do is now that you know that, hey, I'm going to be using my savings or my investments or my bond or combination of all of those to buy my properties, which properties will be suitable for my strategy. That's your first thing that you want to do. You want to find a property that is suitable for your strategy. Property that is that that's suitable for your strategy has the right location, is in a high tenant demand area, you are buying it at a good price, and also it has a lot of amenities in the area that actually can attract the right tenants that you're looking for. You need to be very specific about the type of tenants that you want, and that's why you need to do this part very, very well as well. So there's an old saying that's saying location, 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 and also finance, finance, finance. So this is where both of those come into play, so you can be able to ride to find the right property that is suitable for you. And by the way, you can actually use platforms and tools like Invest and Marketplace, where you can find a property that is suitable for you. You can use online portals, you can use estate agents, auctions, etc. Use whatever it is best to help you to find the right property for you. The last step, which is step number six, is the crucial and the most important one in this step-by-step -step guide, which is you need to actually start investing. You need to start building a real estate portfolio. If you do any of the steps, all five of them without actually taking action, then you're not going to get to see the results of exactly the work that you've done so far. So this is the most important part. Taking action without the knowledge or the right knowledge is actually very vital. We're just going there and getting all this information, sitting down and waiting for the next video, for the next article and without taking action is not something that's going to help you get anywhere in life. So you need to start taking action. If you find the property that you're looking for, put in an offer, start investing and building a portfolio today. Now you can use your savings, you can use debt from the banks, or you can use whatever you can use, angel investors money or money from different financial institutions to start investing. Whichever combination of it works for you, this is exactly where you use it so you can be able to achieve your goal. So now you got the six step in order for you to retire early using property invest and i'm excited that you watched this video this far and here's one thing i want to commend you on first thing you want to do is make sure that you share this video with somebody who can benefit from it and the second thing is make sure that you subscribe because i know that 61 percent of you guys who are watching these videos are not even subscribed yet so make sure that you subscribe and the last thing is that you need to make sure that take action that's the most important thing there's no need for you to sit down here get entertained or watch videos get educated and don't do anything about it Otherwise, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.